it's not Irelia. It's a different type of top laner. You can have a lot of lane pressures rumble, especially now with the minion cap removed and the ability to push the lane. Worked really well for him in that series against SKT. Yep. Oh, so they're going to get jumped on here. Hawk comes through. He gets locked up. He flashes out, but he's taking too much damage. He's going to go down. Looks like they want to give this one over to Lyra. But actually, Linderon will pick it up in the end. Those CS advantages and the kills like you mentioned. And KT consistently set up around picks like the Fiora. That's why the Rumble's a bit different. Okay, it can have kill pressure in lane, but it's not the Fiora, so it's something different for KT. Oh, we'll score and fly. Gonna find Lyra here for the wall. He'll take a, a good chunk of damage as they go forward. And wow, he just vanishes underneath the pressure. Fly gets the kill. First one down to the bottom side. For that TP roam down to the bottom side. You can see the equalizer thrown out. Not really gonna catch Linderong. He'll take a little bit of damage on the exit, but Overall, just going to be score showing some face here, supporting someday. Keep it up safe, Johnny going to be recalling the brush, finds Mickey. Will be able to get the stun, and then here comes Fly, but that's going to be the stand United coming through. Mickey dashes forward with a rip walk. Here Dash comes Lindron, gets onto Hachani, flashes out of the collateral damage. Now something's joining in, but there's no equalizer available. Mickey's going to go in, finds the first kill, but they're taking so much damage from this rumble. Mickey on the run back. Fly is able to take out Lyra. Mickey able to get out with the ultimate. Looks like that's gonna math and thus current now 62 HP in there. Oh well Fly's going in. Lyra dashes for oh. takes a bit bunch of damage though. It's gonna be the hemo plague thrown down. Fly goes into the second pool. Nice dodge onto the taunt there. Score throws out. Lambs for Spy now. Hachani joining this someday coming in with the teleport as well. And that's gonna be the equalizer coming down. Not really catching anybody yet. Linderong does have to limp through that one, but Lyra is gonna be the first person to fall. Samyun arriving. Firing out that flurry of arrows, trying to find a target to lock him up, but he has to flash away for those concussive blows. Clear. And those, there are those three easy outer turrets. So against double TP, having a three turret to zero advantage lets you know. KT are hitting their timing. Sheno. Oh, yeah, Mickey's going in. Somebody taking a bunch of damage. He uses that proto belt. He's going to overheat. Gets taken down by Mickey. And that's going to be Afrika making up fireworks. Mickey going to go be going back in Do for it a again. repeat gank. Somebody uses the proto belt yet again. Flashes away. The taunt's not going to land. Rome coming down for the score. This might be enough. Can they get the Lambs for Spike down? They do so. And this gives the opportunity for KT to try to turn this one around. Lyra has joined. And never mind. It's going to be a double kill going over to Mickey. Coming in as well. Yeah, Hachani gets caught straight into the corner of Crystal and Arrow. On the hunt gets used by Hachani. Nowhere really to go. Mickey cutting off on the back side as well as Linderong. Pick around the back and try and zone. Fly though, it's not gonna be low. Somebody's gonna be using the teleport. He's gonna try to come in for this one. Equalizer is not quite available. Fly goes in, finds Song and gets a bunch of damage down with a Hemo Plague. Is it enough to finish him off? It is, but the Baron gets confirmed by a freak of freak. Someday is gonna go down as he gets silenced out. They get a good amount of damage in onto the Cassidy, but they just cannot finalize the kill. Lyra looks like he might pay with for this one with his life, and he does. Arrow picking that one up, but it's a two for one. And Afrika. Their regular season, you were completely justified to downplay the Koo Tigers at the time, but yeah. Teleport. Oh, oh here we go. We go. All the Sandy teleports. Knight coming through. Someday getting slowed up. He gets taunted out. Uses the Proto Belt to try to create a little bit of distance, but it's just not going to do anything. Oh, We've KS. seen that three times now. He goes, it be a big opening here for KT. Lyra. He is can't get off. there. Yeah, that's going to be the Strymore coming down. So they know that this is happening. Will delay with the Barn Ultimate, but the Baron's still down below. 800, that's going to be confirmed actually from Arrow. Equalizer comes down, Linderong sitting in that one, Snowflower trying to retreat out. Songyun gets popped, Sand United comes through, and will save his life for the time being. They snap back, and Songyun's still going to go down. That's going to be a double kill now coming in for Arrow as he takes down Snowflower and Mickey, and all of a sudden, KT pulling the trigger on an optimal trade, and they will go back into a gold lead. Doesn't have any really prime targets someday, especially if he gets that GA. To make it really difficult for him to try to find anything. Look at Vera though, taking a ton of damage from his life. He comes in the backside, tries to get on the score. The arrow comes through, does find Hachani, but the Bard ultimate is going to cancel that one out. Mickey gets locked down, has to flash out, using that rip walk as well to create some distance. Hachani goes forward. He goes out the glacial fissure. They will slow up and take down Limberong, popping that GA. He doesn't have much of anywhere to go, so he dashes forward, gets a couple taunts, but he's going to fall in the end. Snowflower. Roll too far forward, has to back off. This is going to be two inhibitors going down in favor of KT Rolster. They're looking really good. Equalizer comes down. Somebody dashes forward, trying to get that flame splitter damage in, but he's taking it really low. And Johnny with a really good block on the cosmic binding will stop the stun from coming through. And yeah, well, Mira down by that red side. Mickey goes in deep onto the pit. Baron's already going to go down though, confirmed by score. Stand United comes through later on. Kenny Pan and gets it onto Sunday and Arrow. He's taking a good amount of damage, but of course that Guardian Angel is still going to be available. Fly now up into the front line. Trying to regen as much as he can, but he gets taken down. 
by Lyra who fires back with a kill. But KT are just starting to roll over Afrika, already finding two that go through the magical journey. They find Songyu, they take him down. That's gonna be Snowflower going down as well. The ace coming through from KT Rolster. They're gonna go shove straight down this mid lane and finish out this first game at 42 and a half minutes. And while KT was so fortunate to find themselves with that second Baron, they were so smart the moment they secured it. Forcing the 5v5 fights and 8,000 gold. And you know what they spent that 8,000 gold on? Magic resist. Mickey did no damage diving into five members despite being a six item Cassidy as early as 35 minutes. And KT fought their way through